Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about BGP next hop attribute, how it behaves, IBGP versus EBGP, and the use of next hop self command. So let's first look at what is actually a next hop attribute. So let's look into this diagram and we can understand the definition by using this diagram. Let's see we have R23 and R3 directly connected. These are two uh, eBGP pairs. Uh, we see that there is a loopback IP 1.1.3.1, which is directly on this R3 router. Uh, now for R23 to reach this loopback IP address, the next hop will be 10.23.3.2. So whenever this eBGP speaking router will, ex ex will advertise, uh, this loopback IP address to R23, uh, it will advertise this prefix 1.1.3.1 and tell that in order to reach it, use the next hop 10.23.3.2. Now, let's look into the same scenario in case of IBGP. Now, here is the IBGP setup. This AS200 is running IBGP. This loopback IP address is being advertised from R3 to R22. And then from R23 to R21. So let's look into the routers. I have this topology already running on my uh, uh, in my lab actually. So here is the R1 router. Let's open up the R21 router, and then the R23 router, and we also need the R3 router. So here we have R3, R21, and R23. So we remember the IP address. The IP address was uh, do ping 1.1.3.1.1.21.1. Sorry. So now we cannot ping it right now. And let's let's see what's the reason. Do show IP BGP. Okay. When I check the BGP routing table, I see that uh, this destination 1131 uh, is being learned by 10.23.3.2 which is the IP address on the interface between R3 and uh, uh, which is the IP address between R23 and R3. So let's go to the R23 router and then do show IP BGP over here. Uh, do show IP BGP. Uh, we do see it over here. Uh, as uh, being learned by 10.23.3.2. Since it's directly connected interface between R23 and R3, so we can see that it's being learned and it's also installed. We can see the best route over here, but we don't see it over here. And the reason behind is that this IP address is not reachable for R21. If I do show IP route and I do 10.23.3.2, I don't find this controller do. I don't find this subnet in my routing table. So that's the reason why it's not advertising. So in scenarios where uh, the eBGP advertises a prefix to the uh, to any router, then in case of iBGP routing protocol, uh, when advertising it it to other iBGP pairs, it does not modifies the it doesn't modify the next hop attribute by default. And we have multiple ways to resolve this issue. We can also redistribute this network, uh, which is 1023, which is an external to the AS200. We can redistribute and import it into uh, AS200. But the better approach is that we can go to R23, tell R23 that whenever it advertises its IP addresses to any of its BGP pairs, I BGP pairs, then what it needs to do is that it needs to tell that in order to go to this network, please use myself or use the next hop self command over there. So let's go back to the R3, R23 router because on the R23 we have uh, um, do show run section BGP. Uh, now in this we can see that we don't have the command of uh, we haven't configured the next hop self facing 
router 21. The IP address for router 21 is 1121.1. We don't see next hop self. We do see we have done it for router 22, but not router 21. So let's go ahead and configure the next hop self command over here. Okay. So neighbor 1.1.21. So this is R21 loopback IP next hop self. As soon as I give the next hop, uh, next hop self IP address, uh, the first thing I'm going to check is whether it is getting installed in my routing table. Do show IP BGP. Yeah, here it is. Do show IP BGP. I see over here now, now it is being installed. 1131 is being installed. But there is another change over here. The next hop IP address is also changed. Before, it was advertising it as a next hop 10.2332. But now it is advertising the next hop as 1131. So router 23 is using its own IP address as a next hop. So now this is very important lesson. Let's do the ping as well. Let's see the, if the ping is working fine now. Yeah, the ping is now good. So we can ping the network 1131. So now the lesson over here is that uh, by default, uh, all the IBGP routers, whenever they are advertising any external IP prefix to any other IBGP speaking router, it is going to use it is going to use the uh, next hop IP of the advertising router, which often is not reachable. So what we have to do is that on the uh, any IBGP BGP pairing, we have to use next hop self to resolve this issue. Now let's look into another example over here. The loopback IP address on this router, R1, is 1.1.1.1. And when R1 advertises its prefix to the R21, so R21 will be having the, uh, the next hop as the IP address on this interface. Then R21 is going to advertise this using the IBGP session to R23. Okay, now this is IBGP. So IBGP will not update the next hop IP. However, when R23 advertises this to R3, now this is an EBGP pair. So the situation is changed. When R23 advertises it to R3, it is going to do the magic. It is going to update the next hop IP. So this is the key difference, a very important difference uh, between the uh, between the EBGP and IBGP, the the next hop is changed whenever we are advertising. So let's let's have a look. Do show IP BGP. So 1.1 is reachable via 1.1.1. But when I go to R3, do show IP BGP over here. Uh, show IP BGP over here. So you see over here 10.23.31. So this 10.23.31 uh, is the IP address of the R23 router, R23 router facing R3. But whereas over here, it was the loopback IP address of R21. So when any, when any whenever it's being advertised over the eBGP session, the next hop is updated, even if we don't use the next hop self command. We haven't used the next hop self command on this uh session we can show it to you right now section bgp so you see neighbor 10 23 uh, there isn't any next hop self over here so this is all for the next hop behavior between ibgp and bgp uh, next we will cover more issues of uh, bgp i hope you have enjoyed watching these videos feel free to share with your colleagues if you like to learn more then please click on the videos on the left. Thank you.